The Cleveland Cavaliers, who once again will be the heavy favorites to repeat as Eastern Conference champions and reach the NBA Finals for a third straight year. To Ohio we go. Kristen Ludlow is covering the champs for us once again and joins us now here on our Media Day special. And Kristen, if there is a, a theme today for this team as defending champs for the very first time, it is what? It's quiet, Matt. It is actually quiet. I was joking with a member of the Cavalier staff that because of everything that happened this offseason, everything that happened this summer, that there's not a lot going on for this Cavalier team that came back from a 3-1 deficit to win the NBA Finals. And he did say that is exactly what they had hoped for. Absolutely. That is the goal. There is one bit of, uh, well, a couple of bits of news. First of all, the announcement by David Griffin today that Mo Williams' agent informed him that he will not be a part of this team moving forward. And in fact, it sounds like a retirement. And secondly, the question of J.R. Smith, as folks out there are no doubt aware, J.R. is without a contract at the moment. There have been negotiations for the second straight summer, kind of protracted negotiations between the Cavaliers and Rich Paul. Is there anyone there who believes there's a chance that J.R. Smith doesn't land on this roster eventually? It doesn't seem to be that way from everything that I've gathered here today, Matt. JR is an unrestricted free agent, but as David Griffin, their GM, made it clear, they have made a very aggressive offer to JR in these last couple of days. They're hoping to get that deal done. LeBron echoed his sentiments. He said he is the most liked guy on this team. He'll be back on this team. And he said if there is any issue on either side, he's confident they're going to get it done soon. Kristen, looking at these calves, like you said, and Matt said, it's very quiet. And I think when you start to look at it, there's not a lot of question marks. You have guys healthy coming to the camp. If you look at the Cleveland Cavaliers, though, what is their theme that they want to accommodate going into training camp? Hi, I'm Kristen Letlow with NBA TV. And you are <laughs> That's LeBron James mocking me per usual. Thank you for that. Do you want to come do this? <laughs> There are a few question marks surrounding this Cavalier team. This guy right here who's laughing at me. LeBron who says, can they do it? Will they do it? Should they do it? Yes, and good night as he walks away. But one of the question marks does surround, though, the point guard position. And I talked to Kyrie about that with Mo Williams' announcement that he's going to be retiring. He said guys like Kay Felder, guys like Jordan McRae, who had the ability to play that one-two position, he's really looking forward to camp. So I know as things are kind of wrapping up and these guys are walking around behind me and making faces actually behind the camera, they are certainly excited for what could be yet another title run. Wow, there's a lot of hygiene happening there that we can't really see we really we just have to trust that you're telling us the truth we can't see any of this happening right now <laughs> it makes it much less fun I'm looking at the camera just staying right here on me I'm like hey that guy right there is a three-time NBA champion making faces on the side here of the baseline but yes there is a lot going on here but I think the mood though overall you asked about that it's, it's just very relaxed these guys seem to be in a much different place than they were last year of course coming off a finals loss is very much much different than coming off of a finals win but all of the guys who have sat down all of the guys that I've gotten a chance to talk to seem just very relaxed after this offseason delivering a city its very first NBA championship will do that for folks uh, Kristen will talk to you soon and in fact we'll see Kristen along with Steve Smith on real training camp the Cleveland edition which comes your way September 28th what is that that's Wednesday right Wednesday sorry I don't have a calendar in front of me 10 a.m. Eastern time the Lakers on Friday. Later on, you'll see the two-time Western Conference champions October 8th from California. There's, uh, there's the king messing with Kristen. He's disruptive. He's a disruptive force, even when it comes to broadcasting.